damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free. This the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid. This too the Pella knows. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. All right, let's get on side quest, it seems. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. 20 crowns. It's not bad. But... Thanks, mate. You only give me 20 you so crowns sorry, for your life. Thought I'd roast for sure. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's Get out of my sight. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought Calm her down. back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I've prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. 
I sent away for new pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Well, maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. To hunt down a wild boar that size? Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? <laughs> no. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take yours. Oh. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Siri, we must win. Siri. All right. I'm probably gonna leave that in because I talked about a lot of things. Not really. Can barely see that rabbit. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, let's do this. Four. Come on, Siri! Don't you embarrass us! Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! Go on! I don't think I can take a shortcut. It won't let me pass. Uh, no, it won't. Show sure how it's done! He's actually catching up. Come on, lass. That took all the horses' stamina. <sighs> You're wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. 
The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. What the fuck is that? <laughs> she screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. <laughs> Let's play Gwent. <laughs> Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck <laughs> death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Tamarian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled. Abandon the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Do I have a choice? No, I don't. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches. But for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it 
when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for <laughs> years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference, broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. 
Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the <laughs> fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Help. Get out of here! The king! New land or something? Come on. Oh god. I'm poisoned. That's not good. Poison again. I gotta say, I like this move. It's a lot faster than the damn roll. Oh. There we go. Time to go save the Baron. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. How do we get up there? Ah, right here. <laughs> Bring it on, horse, and come here. She's awesome. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. 
You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What the? There you are! Escaped again. Sorry, we was never here. What the fuck is that? What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Ardle's shit. <laughs> 